Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, a while ago, when I had first posted my August favorites video, I did a look. I think it was very similar to this, if not the same. And I said that I was going to do a tutorial on it for the fall look, the fall lips, all that kind of stuff, the ombre, dark look, lips and everything. And um, I just didn't get around to it, but I finally did. I finally did this tutorial for you guys. So hopefully you like it. Let me know if there's any other looks that you guys want to see and I will definitely do my best to get that posted for you. I had a few problems with this video. Um, I was kind of on a time crunch and my card got full and I had to stop recording and all sorts of messes. But uh, the only thing that I didn't get on camera for this look is the application of my eyeliner, my lashes, my contouring, which I will also do separate videos for, so not to worry, it'll all come together eventually, but thank you for coming, I hope you like this look, and I will see you guys next time, thanks, bye! Okay, so I'm going to start by just pinning my hair back, I had time to straighten it, thank God, because my hair is naturally a big frizzball. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pin my hair back, and then I'm going to go right into my Benefit Professional uh, Primer. So for foundation, I'm using my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Mattifying Foundation with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. So now I'm just going in with my Studio Finish Concealer in NC45 and my MAC 192 brush. This brush I believe has been discontinued, but any brush that has synthetic hairs um, will probably be able to do uh, the same job here. Now as you can see, I'm just pushing the product into my skin, I'm not rubbing it around and that's just to conceal any extra marks that the foundation wasn't able to cover. So now I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC42 and my MAC 249 brush and I'm just pretty much um, drawing that triangle underneath my eye to highlight and then I'll be blending it out with my Itty Bitty Mini Beauty Blender. And here's my mini beauty blender. I think it's so cute, but it does the job right underneath the eyes. It gets all in the creases there, so I'm just pushing that in. I take a little bit over my eyelid as well, just to blend it out properly in terms of what I think looks good. So, I mean, you don't have to do your eyelid as well, but I tend to go over my eyelid, and then I'll still go over it with um, an eyeshadow base. And here I'm just going in with my Makeup Forever HD powder and my MAC 159 brush and I'm just getting right under my eye there. This looks like a lot of powder for under my eye and you could probably get away with using a little less if you're not as creasy as I am, but underneath my eyes I get really creasy so I like to really get that powder in there and don't worry it will fade away as the video goes on you'll see. So now I'm going in with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35, again with my 249 brush, and I'm just highlighting my nose in the middle of my eyebrows, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And again, going in with the Beauty Blender and just buffing that right out. Again, using my HD powder in Makeup Forever. I'm just going over the areas that I just buffed out and now I'm going to take my Hello Flawless powder and my big powder brush and I'm just going to go over the areas of my face that are going to stay dark without any highlighting there. Okay. 
So here I'm just going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil and I'm going to be using first Auburn to carve out my eyebrow and then I'm going to be taking dark brown and uh, filling it in on top just to darken it a bit and as silly as this sounds then I'm going to be taking the brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to be putting that on just to lighten it a bit <laughs> but you'll see the process. So again with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35 and my MAC 249 brush, I'm just drawing a line right underneath my eyebrow just to really separate and carve out where my eyebrow uh, shape should be and I'm doing the same thing for above my eyebrow just to really give me a sharp line. Now here's where you'll be able to see what the brow gel actually does in comparison to the other eyebrow uh, by making it just slightly lighter but not as light as just using the color auburn alone for the brow wiz. So after a little dance session with my hubby, I'm taking my MAC 227 brush and MAC's painterly paint pot and I'm just applying that all over my lid to prep for eyeshadow. And for eyeshadow I'm going to be using my Amrezi Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm taking the color vanilla with my MAC 213 brush and I'm going to be applying that to my brow bone. So now I'm going to be taking the color Caramel and I'll be applying that with my 224 brush by MAC and I'll be putting that right into my crease. And just a light blend is what I'm using, it's more of a transition color for here. So now I'm going to be going in with color Morocco and I'm going to be using my MAC 217 brush to apply that to my crease as well. And the brush that I'm using is slightly smaller than the last one. Um, the way I apply it is I just kind of push up a little bit into the eyeshadow just to build the color on the brush there. And I kind of flip it upside down almost and just get right into the crease there so it's slightly tighter than the last brush uh, which was fluffier to give me a more blended look and this one's going to be a little more targeted into the crease. So here again I'm taking an even smaller brush which is my 213 brush by MAC and I'm applying the color Deep Plum which is again slightly darker than the last color and the brush is slightly smaller than the last color because it's going to give me a little bit more of a cut crease type of look but a blended cut crease type of look so I'm applying that right into the crease which is getting smaller and smaller with each color that I apply So I'm taking that same 213 brush now 
and I'm just applying Morocco and Deep Plum to my lower lash line just so that I get a pop of color at the bottom of my eye as well. So using my 242 brush by MAC, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Eye Studio palette um, using the lightest color. This is the Coral Oasis palette and I'm just using the light color and I'm just kind of, I'm going to kind of tap it, uh, or sorry, pat it onto my lid because I want this color to come out pretty strong as I want my lid to be the brightest area of my eye. And just to brighten up a little bit more, I'm taking that same light color and I'm just going to put it on the inner corner of my eye, um, on my tear duct and slightly lower just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And here I'm just taking my 224 brush again and I'm just buffing everything out there because I want the top part to be very blended. And I'm sorry, as I stated before, I wasn't able to get my eyeliner my lashes, my contouring, but I did do my nose, my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin area for contouring there, and I'll do another video for that. But here I am taking my blush brush with my Ambering Rose blush by MAC, and I'm just dusting that onto the apples of my cheeks and pulling it up. And now I'm gonna be taking Night Moth, a lip liner by MAC, and I'm just lining up my lips, and then I'm gonna be pulling the liner slightly down so it's going to be a thicker line on top and on the bottom to get that ombre look. So now I'm taking a MAC lipstick, this one is Glam, and I'm just applying that to my lips right on top of the lip liner. Um, I've already created that darker um, edging, so the, the color is gonna show up brighter on the inside, which is gonna help to create that ombre look. So I'm just going to go over that lining again with the lip liner just to darken up the edges again. And there you have it, lips are done. So time to let my hair down and be on my merry way. Uh, this hair seriously needs to get dyed soon because this is an unintentional ombre look right now. <laughs> so yeah, you can use this look for me personally, I would say any time of the year, but some people just like it for fall and winter. Use it whenever you like, and if there's any other looks you want to see, just leave a comment in the bottom bar and I will do my best to get that to you. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.